Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing and today we have the Eastern Commanders set. Now this is a great kit from Games Workshop that features um, four models made of resin. Obviously you got the banner bearer, a captain model which is quite an old model which has been turned into a, a resin model, um, and the dragon knight and an Eastern War Priest. Now this is the only way to get those two models on foot and now the only way to get a banner bearer however I've converted lots out of the plastics and that old banner bearer with a hideously small banner anyway so this is the back as you can see some really nice detail on these I'm not sure if I like that pose or not I'm gonna have to get get him open and see how I think then anyway so this comes in the standard small pack. Oh, left a drill bit in from earlier. Anyway, so first we have the four bases. Okay, so let's get the models out. So four screws. Right, let's first show the captain. This is the fine cast captain. Now, I'm quite pleased with how this looks, as it looks rather clean. Now, I'm going to be converting this captain to look a, a little bit different. Perhaps using the cloaks, the spare cloaks and captain parts. But as far as the model goes, this looks really nice. Next, we have the Dragon Knight. Now, this is the Dragon Knight. It's going to need clearing up and the swords bending back into position. A sash there. That's the big billowing cloth at the back with the sort of dragon emblem. Rather large shoulder pads. Now I've got mounted models of these, um, him and the War Priest, which I'm going to be unboxing soon. And that's the helmet. The helmet needs repositioning, but it's a very cool helmet. It's got the extra middle piece with the sort of dragon head on. So, next we have the banner. Now, like the fine cast, the banner needs putting back into position. Now this banner has, if you can see from the box art, like a little holster. So that's quite a cool addition. And the banner, once it's been reshaped and back into position, will look great. Now I love the cloth on these guys, looks really nice. And they all have the proper sized Easterling helmet pieces. Now that's got a pretty severe air bubble under there. You just have quite a few little air bubbles, but nothing too serious. So a nice flowing banner, and when painted up, it'll look very nice indeed. Last of all, we have the War Priest. Now I really like the design of this model. <coughs> Excuse me. Now his staff goes up there, it's very nice. Um, the cloth and the cloak on this guy is superb. So if we zoom in. Very nice indeed. And the helmet. It's got an air bubble under there. And one on the staff. But like I say, the army, the armor, sorry, is uh, is lovely. Really nice detail, and I love these special characters. They give something extra to the Easterling sort of army. It'd be, a, it's a shame that there isn't sort of an elite troops for this army because it's so nice. Anyway, that's these guys. I'll go and get them cleaned up and assembled, and I'll see you in a second. 
Hey guys, and we're back. Um, so, I've assembled and cleaned up the commanders, and here we have the four of them. Now, let's have a look. First, we'll have the captain. Um, he didn't take much cleaning up, and just needed the, the halberd bending back into position. By heating it up, um, really like the cloth on this model. It's really nicely done. Okay, so I'm going to be converting this model, um, just because I've already got um, two models <laughs> in metal of this already, um, so I won't be needing a third one. Um, and I hope to convert one of them anyway. Still, so. Next, um, next we've got the banner bearer. Now, this is a really nice model. After I bent the banner back into the right place, um, oh, a little bit of flash still. Just spinning around. Very cool indeed. Now I have a bit of filling to do on the top. There you got some of the bob bubbles and on the bottom. Um but that won't take too much. Um Yeah, I really like this model. I'm gonna replace this spike on the top because I think um it'll be more suiting with the Easterling style to have um a decorative piece on top. But that's the, the banner bearer. It's very nice indeed. Next we have the Dragon Knight. Now the model that I didn't like at first, it's grown on me. And I, I actually rather like it now. I am going to change the swords because they lose the detail. I find that Vinecast swords are really bad with detail. As I will show you with my next video on I'm doing or one of the next videos. Um, I might have to replace some of these swords, but I've got I've got plenty of plastic ones left over. So the helmet's really cool. Um, took a bit of reshaping, um, but it's very nice. And the symbol is quite cool on the back. If you notice the gap there, I did actually try to cut this arm off um, because I was messing around with position wise, but I, I decided it was best just to keep it as it was. Okay, if there's one thing I don't particularly like about this model, it's the fact that these massive shoulder pads that just appear out of nowhere, there's no strapping or anything, and they're on like really long sleeved arms. But apart from that, it's quite a nice model. And lastly, my favourite model of this set, it's the War Priest. Now, I will have to do a few bubble fills, but it's worth it, because this model's really nice. So, let's have a look at some of the detail. Got a really nice cloak there. Mm. So, and I really like his sort of staff. Very cool design. That's managed to stay in keeping with the Eastling theme. Um, yeah, guys, it's just I'm really pleased with this model, and I really look forward to painting it. Now I'm going to start talking about these two in one of my other videos where I unbox them on horseback so um, stay tuned for that one if you want to hear my opinions on them as a game point. So guys thank you for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any um, questions please leave them down below or, or just ask me anything about these guys. Um, 
I have a Facebook group, so please check that out. It'll help me a lot. And because um, I'm always posting little pictures on there on things I'm working with, and I'm just sharing like. Um, but thanks, guys, and I'll catch you later.